long motherhood. Oh. It's wonderful. But let's face it, every mom has had her share of not so perfect moments. Maybe you forgot to pack your kids lunch or you give them candy just so you can make it through a store without a crying fit. Yep, our viewers can relate. So we wanted to share some of the mom fails that you sent us. I left the house without putting a diaper on my daughter and you know what they say, bleep happens and it totally did. After a very stressful trip to the Home Depot, we were halfway home when I turned around and realized my two and a half year old was missing both shoes. I told my two year old that I loved her and she looked at me and said, Mommy, I love Daddy. We have dance party night at my house every night where I said to little Mila, shake your booty which was totally fine until the next day at school she got into class and the first thing she said to a little boy in her class was, shake your booty. I actually forgot my daughter had early release and she had to call me from school because she was the only one left there. Mom of the year. Oh, Here and, we oh, go. It happens to all of us. Here to explain why it is okay not to be perfect all the time are Alicia Yarbrough and Mary Ann Zellner. And they've written the perfect survival, well, it's not perfect because they aren't, survival guide called <laughs> Mom, Mom for, for All, all seasons. seasons. See how we did it? And they also happen to be today's show yeah. producers. Emmy award winning producers. Yes. They're not just, re can you just show us what you guys do to de de stress before your segment? Do it. You okay. really want to do, do it. it? Hey, we do it. They do something called a booby, booby bump. bump. It's very, it's very, 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 very upsetting. odd and scary. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a lot like they are. <laughs> All right, so there are a lot. Of, obviously, we asked parents about their issues, yeah. and they had a lot of them. Did you guys find that you, there was tons and tons of material for this book? There's, oh. there's too much. Yeah. Volumes. Um, even before we get out the door at 8 o'clock in the morning, we have so many shoddy mom stories that we have to share. And the more you share, the better you feel about Sharing what just happened. Yeah, that you're not alone. And yeah. you, everybody else makes the same mistakes pretty much. And how old are your kids? Your kids, Alicia? 11 and 12. And, yours? and mine are 9, let me think about it, 9 and 11. <laughs> and how do they feel about you guys uh, pushing this book? I mean, it's a little weird. Well, it's so cute because the first time around, our daughters were, you know, she was like, they're like doing their middle school applications. They're like, uh, well, my, I said that my mom's an author, but I didn't say the name of the book. <laughs> Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want them to think badly about you. Now they're like coming in this morning. They're like, Mom, good luck. Oh. Johnny Mom. <laughs> I got it right. Well, we got a lot of, this book has great little anecdotes. Yes. It's funny. You were reading it, Kath. What'd you think? I thought it was so funny, unlike your last one. I was <laughs> not to it. I really thought it was clever. All right, so we got some, we got oh, people yeah. who want advice and things like that. So we have Sharon R. We're going to put her picture on the monitor. She's from New Jersey. She says, apparently, Baby hates the beach and water. Unfortunate for a beach vacation. Yes. So what, you, you probably see a lot of this stuff, huh? You know what, kids hate vacation. <laughs> There's no such thing, it's a fantasy. The idea of vacationing with kids, yeah. it's, it's out the window. And yeah. so this baby, although she is upset because she's Look, there's sunshine, she's in a swimming pool, she's with her daddy, it looks like. Yeah. I mean. It seems that she should be happy. happy. This is what you have to do. Happy. What's you the take have away? to put sunscreen on that baby. That's right. You know why? <laughs> Not for the baby, but for you, because you don't want your vacation to be ruined because you're inside with a sunburned kid. So oh, what is wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's a win-win for everyone. But it's kids do win. hate it. They hate it. For some reason, it. You, you say we're going for a, a hike and all of a sudden their, their body goes limp. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're out running in the backyard miles and miles and miles. But when you're on vacation, you go, let's go to the museum right. for a quick no. walk. Whoa. No. No. I don't want to go. Oh, no. yeah. If you don't get talked into a staycation, that yeah. word needs to be oh. banned. banned from the vernacular. Oh. Yeah. How does that work out? It's it just you taking off time from work to stay home to take care of your kids, which and is clean. even more work. Yes. And you, okay, you, you, you go to work to get away from taking care of your kids, okay, is what you guys All right, <laughs> shoddy moms. Here's another one. This is no one, judgment. one no mom's judgment. photo. This is Rebecca G. She sent us this photo. She said she used cheap rash guard that ended up <laughs> scraping off some sensitive parts. Yes. Okay, the good news what? is she, gets, she has a really cute photo though I mean <laughs> really that kid is definitely if that were my child I would be playing that at its wedding Wait, I mean like, how cute is that she's a little popsicle to deal with the stress That's I love the little one over there of the little girl with two fingers up her nose <laughs> that is just <laughs> one's just not enough, one's not enough. Well, well guys we love you guys thank so you happy guys for you so much congrats on the book thank it's called you. shoddy what it's called <laughs> mom. mom all right coming up even uh Never mind, they left. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mom or dad? What? It's amazing. <laughs>
Easy, easy, seven.